when you work in production, you have lots of technology around you, but you're never really in touch with the technologies because all you do is actually move that thing or you know, do your screwdriver or you know, do some bolting. With a glove, you can see what you're doing, you can track what you're doing. All of a sudden you have data that you can actually change your behavior on. And it's kind of this magic feeling. worked in the car factory. I remember that they all have gloves in the production, so this would be a, a good point to start with a wearable device. If you see like a four-digit number, you might remember. If you see a barcode which has 12, 13 digits, forget it. You will not be able to communicate it to somewhere else or you have to enter it somewhere. Now your hands, you know, they are moving goods anyway and they are working with stuff anyway. So we came up with a ProGlove who is able with sensoring technologies to pick up information from whatever he's handling by transmitting, by scanning through NFC or whatever, use that information to monitor what he's actually doing, to train him what he's doing by introducing sensors on the hand of the worker. The combination of the Intel Edison and the glove makes perfect sense because there is no platform available that has the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity that we definitely need, as well as computing power, but in a form factor that you can easily fit even on a glove. For ProClub I see a lot of potential because it's a professional wearable other than consumer devices that you really need to convince the customer to use it every day. The impact that we might have on the future when we introduce a glove and it's going to be successful and people will see what the value will be from the glove and maybe that might unlock the industry sector where they say, you know, wearable technologies, they should play a bigger role in our processes as well.